Hey, what's up everyone? Mike here from The Art of Guitar. Way back in the day, in olden times, we had a thing called just the regular Nintendo system, NES. And you could actually type in cheat codes using the controller. So you could uh, warp to different worlds. You could do all sorts of things with certain games. But you had to know the combination to type in. So one of them was up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, BA or something like that. I kind of forgot what it is. But I realized that when it comes to strumming on the guitar, there's an actual cheat code that a lot of my students, once they learn it, suddenly all these other strums uh, make sense to them. It's really weird. So I wanted to let you guys know what that is today and see if it works for you as well. If you're feeling a little stuck when it comes to rhythm or strumming, this should help you out, okay? There's proof. I've been doing this for decades now, and I've seen countless students all of a sudden something clicks, and they're like, oh, I understand how it feels to play rhythm correctly now. It's kind of cool. So I'll show it to you right now step by step, but what I want you guys to do is to start very slow. Don't skip anything until you feel like you have it down. Then you can just take off with it, all right? So what I want you to do is mute your strings just by touching them a little bit so you get a dead sound when you hit your strings. You can also use a full chord like a G chord. Just make sure it includes six strings when you do this, either G or E major, or just something with all six strings. What I want you to do, I'm just going to do the muted version, is just follow my strumming hand exactly, all right? So the first thing we're going to do is just a downstroke where we make contact with the string and then we come back home without hitting the strings. That's step one. Step two is going to be a down and an upstroke making contact and then drop your hand without hitting the strings. That feels weird to people. It's hard to do to just let your hand drop for some reason. And then we're going to go up down making contact and then return back home without hitting the strings. Those are your three steps. All right, so the cheat code is down, down, up, up, down, if we're talking the Nintendo codes. So we're going to go like this, down, down, up, up, down. Now it looks like I'm sewing or something. I'm really exaggerating my movements, but I don't want you guys to do that. What I want you to do eventually is just barely miss the strings, all right? I'm doing this so it looks really obvious. Don't strum like this, all right? So let's go like this now. Let's go slow one more time and then add a chord and start to speed up. Okay, let's go really slow. Down and make contact. Let's bring the hand up without hitting anything. We're back home. Step two, down and up making contact. Drop the hand without making a sound. Once again, that's going to be the hardest part for a lot of people because it feels weird. All right, step three, final step, up, down, making contact. And then bring it home without making a sound. Okay, if I do this at a medium pace now, like Tenacious D would say, you're going to go like this. All right, so I'll say it while I play it. Down down, up, up, down. The hardest part is not making contact, it's avoiding the strings at the right time. Just gonna feel very strange, but you're unlocking something in your brain. So it's gonna feel weird at first for some people, some people get it right away. Other people, they had so much trouble, so all of a sudden, boom, it clicks. So keep at it, don't give up if it feels weird. Keep at it for a while, and then you'll see, you'll just come back to the guitar if you put it away for a couple minutes, and all of a sudden it seems like your brain kept practicing it, it'll click in, I promise. Okay, now let's go like this. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. There's an old song by Tony Basil, uh, Old Mickey, You're So Fine, Hey Mickey, and it has that rhythm. I always think about that when I do it. Okay, the biggest problem people seem to have is on missing the strings. They tend to forget when to do it and their hand ends up, ends up looking like this. Okay, if it's real stiff and robotic, you're doing it wrong. Look at when I do it correctly. Notice my arm just keeps moving in a fluid fashion. That's what you want eventually. Okay, once you have that, let's add a chord. And if you're already doing a chord, just keep doing it. All right, let's go with G and do the strum. I used to call it the John Mellencamp strum. I'm going to start calling it the Bob Seger strum now because it sounds like night moves or something. All right. So 
So you notice I keep returning home. I never let my hand just stay anywhere. That's the biggest mistake people make. Don't let that happen, keep it flowing. The next thing you wanna do is you start switching chords. So maybe go from G major to C add nine back and forth. That's always a good one because you barely have to think about moving. It's the old uh, poison, every rose has its thorn or the green day trick. All right, let's go like this. We'll do twice with this strum pattern. Now as we're coming back home, switch to the next chord. Back to G. See how you can use that little bit of time where you're coming back home to switch chords? That's very helpful. All right, so might take you a while to get to that speed. I just jumped ahead to save you guys a little bit of time, but really take it slow, all right? Eventually you'll be switching to many chords and keeping the rhythm going. This is the eventual goal. It feels really good and like I said it unlocks future strums so even if you're doing something kind of difficult like or whatever you're doing it's gonna it's just gonna feel right instead of being very strange and awkward so let's see if it works for you guys let me know in the comments all right this is a good lesson to do after that uh, first lesson that I put out called this should be everybody's first lesson Add this new strum to what you learned in that previous lesson and uh, you'll be pretty set to go. And if you want to go even further, go ahead and jump to theartofguitar.com and check out all my lessons. They're all there. It's this big library. And I do it from start to finish so you guys can follow along and learn at your own pace, okay? All right, guys. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you at the next lesson. Thanks. Bye.